Welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Today our theme is this, embrace age and the wisdom that comes with it. Embrace age, and, and some people think, oh, embrace age, I'm just not gonna embrace aging. Well, what I'm talking about is aging. Embrace the fact that, that with every passing day, we become a day older and hopefully a bit wiser. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 16, verse 31. Gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained in the way of righteousness. This passage is saying that, that aging is not a bad thing. It's part of our journey. And so often in our culture today, we don't embrace aging, and sometimes we don't em embrace people who are aging. Some people get marginalized or pushed to the side because, well, they've had their season, they've had their time, and we miss the fact that there is so much wisdom in the hearts and the lives of those who've walked in righteousness and grown over time. In my own life, I have three men that I really look to as mentors, two formally and one informally. Uh, one is Carl Overbeek. Carl is a retired pastor filled with grace and kindness and wisdom of the years. He's, he's a bit older than me, and I, and I talk with him on a regular basis to learn from him, to listen to him, to, to gain. I ask him questions, and he speaks into my life. And then also Paul Cedar. Paul, also a retired pastor and a great uh, evangelistic leader who's done ministry all around the world. And on a regular basis, I send him a couple of questions and he prepares and then just imparts wisdom to me, wisdom that only comes with years and experience. And my life is richer because of it. And then there's someone named Ben, ben Patterson, who was the chaplain at a college in West Michigan, Hope College, became the chaplain at, at Westmont College in Santa Barbara, California. And he has, through the years, spoken into my life. He re recently wrote a memoir about his time at Hope College and the revival that God did there. And I got to read that memoir in this manuscript form. I was so reminded again of the wisdom and all that God has done in my life through Ben Patterson. And, and so here's some simple truths. We should embrace aging our own and say, God, with each day may I grow in wisdom so I can impart things to other people. We should embrace the aging of others. If you have people in your life who are aging, but you're, you're kind of falling away from them and kind of it's, it makes you a little uncomfortable that they're aging, it's part of life. Stay connected to those people. And then in, in your own life, look and say, I want to be a person who gains wisdom from those who have wisdom. And so here's my encouragement to you. Find a mentor. If you don't have someone, if you don't have a Carl Overbeek or a Paul Cedar or a Ben Patterson in your life, uh, and the first two that are formal mentors for me, they're doing it because I asked them to. I went to them and said, would you pour into my life? And they both prayed about it and were delighted to do that. Who do you have in your life that's further down the road? Maybe a little gray hair. Certainly more understanding and wisdom. Do what you can to learn from them. Let's pray together. Living God, thank you that you put people in our lives who have uh, some time on us, who have experience that we don't have, who have wisdom that we could gain from. We pray that we would embrace those people be thankful for them, and that we would even be okay with the fact that with each passing day, we grow a little older, but may we also grow wiser, that we might become a source of wisdom and care for those that are younger than us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your week. Uh, if you're part of a local church, get involved in your church. Be part of that gathering with God's people. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we meet every week at 9 and 11 on campus here in Monterey and online anywhere in the world. Hope you can join us. God bless you.